Hello, Beauty News family. Welcome back to an episode of The Makeup Breakup. Where have we been? I know. I feel like we haven't been here for a very long time. Yeah. I'm like, white table, who this? I know. Actually, it might not look different to you guys, but it is a different setup for us. Um, So, you know, we're keen to see how it works out. But today we are taking a look at non-retractable makeup items and how much product is really in there. We've got a MAC Eyebrows here. Now, this is one of the old ones. Uh, They have since repackaged these and revamped the line and they are now retractable, but we know that a lot of people still have these in their stash. Um, I do. And you can find them on sale at certain places as well. And uh, people stock up on them. Like like we we did. did. (laughs) Uh, And we want to, like there's a brand new one. We are keen to like wind it all out and see what's in there another one that was discontinued and i'm going to just say i'm really discontinued i think they might have oh no they were no they're there they're there not yet yeah not yet thank god don't discontinue them yet because i want to try one if they're good i want one yeah Yeah. mark jacobs have a habit of discontinuing things but these are still available they are that's right we did manage to find them on the uh actual display Mm -hmm. they're the enamored hydrating lip gloss sticks uh very keen to see what's in there and this is the the boot one of the group Mm -hmm. Um, it's the by Terry stylo expert click stick it is a concealer concealer stick and it's non retractable it's only clickable yeah so the reason why we're doing this uh, it I know it seems people might be a bit confused where we did ask for suggestions on products of uh, what are non retractable products and people were giving suggestions of retractable ones. The reason why non retractable ones are interesting to destroy is because if you wind them all out, you can't get them back in. Yeah. So don't do that at home, guys. Don't ever do that. We're doing that for you. Yeah. The ones that you can twist up and twist back, you can have a look how much is in there, no problem. Yeah. And that's called a retractable yes. pen or stick or something like Lipstick, that. Lipstick, whatever yeah. it happens it's to like be. It's like a lip balm where you can wind it up and then wind it back down yeah. or brow pencils. Um, but these ones, once you wind it up, that's it. Yeah. So so we're doing the hard yards for you and destroying these products in the name of science. Don't do science. it at home. Yes, yeah, science. Don't do it at home, guys. It's dangerous. Starting out with MAC eyebrows. This contains 0.09 of a gram. gram. Yeah. It's, it's not much product. Next up is the By Terry Concealer. So this is meant to contain one gram of product. And the reason we're weighing is obviously so we can verify what the usable amount of product is after we wind the product out. Marc Jacobs, this one is supposed to contain 2.1 grams. All right, which one do we want to start with? Oh, that's a good question. Leave your votes below, even though we can't see them. (laughs) We're starting with Marky Mark. Let's get in closer. Are we ready? Yes, we're ready. All right, let's do it. (gasps) This feels naughty. And (laughs) it's so weird that this is a like just a basic lip product. It's not like I look. I still don't believe it. I know. I I don't don't believe believe it it either. Like you just wouldn't think that something like this would be non-retractable, but you can see like. It doesn't want to go back. Usually when things have those clicks, it means they're non-retractable. Yeah. Because um, what happens is they click up and hold the product in place. Yes, it's almost, it's kind of like an airless pump for a solid. Yes. That's the best way to think of it. Sounds like a duck. It does. How many clicks? Count them at home. (laughs) Yeah, tell us. Slow it right down and count them. Actually, it's quite a lot of products. That's a lot. I wonder if it's going to stop or if I'm just going to keep going. Oh, and you don't know when it stops. And don't know when it's actually stopped. Because it doesn't look like it's actually coming out anymore. No. Hard to tell. Oh. Five minutes later. (laughs) Yeah, I know, right? No, I think that stopped. So there's a tiny little air bubble just sort of at the base of the lipstick where it meets the packaging and that's not moving when I try to twist it up. So she's done. Done and done. So that's how much product 
is in the Marc Jacobs Enamored Hydrating Lip Gloss Stick. So that'll be like your usable amount where you can easily swipe it on the lips and use it. Um, but we are going to cut it off and see what the usable weight is and then dig it out. Yes. All right, destruction time. All right, let's scrape this off. Oh, it's so sad. Oh, poor baby. All right, so we have to weigh this and see how much was here. All right, so there is 2.39 grams of product just here, which is great. It's supposed to have 2.1 grams of product, so you're getting a little bit extra in actual usable product. We're not even talking about stuff that you have to like dig in there to get out to apply to your lips. Which many lipsticks do consider that like you, yeah, the product. The product. Yeah. We don't, because who can be bothered? Not me. Not me. But let's scoop this out and see what's inside. Oh my god, nothing. Oh not much. It's like right nothing. The oh wow. So not much wasted Fuck, product that's at a all. Pretty colour. It is a pretty colour. We should have got a garish one so it didn't oh, look make at it. <laughs> the little base pop there. There we go. So you guys can actually see in here, it literally is like an airless pump. Yeah, it, it just it like pushes, pushes up. the platform up. This colour is really pretty. Maybe they should discontinue them so I can buy all of the shades and not feel guilty. On sale. On sale. Oh, it's nice. So it's sort of like Ooh. a tinted gloss in a, yeah. in a balm form. It's pretty. I like it. Well done, Marc Jacobs. And I don't think there's really much point in um, weighing it again. No. Because you get all of the usable product. And even if you do want to scoop down into the base, it's only, it's a, only a tiny yeah, bit of product. A couple so of applications. There we go. You're sticky. <laughs> Let's get into By Terry's Expensive Beers. Ugh. This one you click. So. A lot of work. Let's get a click in. <laughs> Luckily it's only one, like, what is it, one gram? Yep. I'm doing 500 times speed. <laughs> My God. Lucky you don't need to use that much concealer in a day. It'd be here forever. <laughs> this is very strange. <laughs> We've never done this on the makeup breakup, have we? This is just fucking weird. <laughs> I'm trying to think of all the weird repetitive shit that we've done <laughs> on this series. And this is just, <laughs> this is strange. <laughs> feels very, very strange. Again, how do I know when it's finished? <laughs> Three years later. Mm -hmm. Are you still clicking? It's a lot of concealer actually. Like it's not much, but at the same time, it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> More than I expected from there. Will, will you like stop or not stop? Like, can you click forever? I don't know. <sighs> Maybe we can cut it off and then see if it goes up. Oh wait, I have a reference point. It's still going, my yeah. God. I had a reference point before when I was looking oh, at Oh, I camera. found it. Good. Okay. Okay. We okay. End. We're at the end, but she keeps clicking. So there we go. But when we get up close and we look uh, at the yeah. face, you can see the little plastic yep. doodad that it's sitting it's in. It's a lot. That's, That's a lot. I thought it'd feel like this amount. Yes. But so it's did actually I. beyond that, it which does. is good. It goes down into the tube, which is great. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. So that's the length of the product, the amount of the usable product um, while you are 
you know, pushing this up, clicking it up as you use it. Um, and it is a, a fair amount of product. Let's weigh this and see what we can scoop out of here. Wow. I'm surprised. Wow. So that actually contained 1.82 grams. Which is nearly double. 8.3. Because now it's adjusted a tiny bit, but we're going with 8.2 because it, it sat on that 0.5 for a long, uh, 0.05 for a long time. That's almost double what it claims to contain. No wonder why it went so, so long. I'm like, I know. This doesn't why look like one gram. That don't look like one gram. We've been doing this for a long time. We know what a gram looks yeah, like. But I'm, I'm, I'm not disappointed. If you're spending no, that much on a concealer. Absolutely. That's a good deal. Well, not, it's, it's not a good well, deal, but it's a better deal than one gram. It's a lot better deal than what you initially expect to be getting. Yeah. That's great. Since this is a very expensive product, you may be inclined to dig it out. We wouldn't blame you. We'd do the same thing. So let's see what's in there. Oh, enough. A few applications. Yeah. But it's not like... It's not super deep. It's not, you know, half the product. It's not half a gram here and half a gram in the tube. Which we have seen something similar to before. Yes. You actually see it regularly. Quite often. So that's pretty good. I'd say there's, you know, another two applications in there. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like we need to weigh it to find no. out exactly what that was. It's not a significant amount. This is the good shit. Yes. This part over here. So well done, Mark, and well done, Terry. And now yep. let's see if Mac can uh, come through with a trifecta. Let's do it. Time for the Mac attack. Time for Mac. All right. I'm pretty excited about this because these are my favorite brow uh, products. So I'm keen to see how much is actually in there. I know it's not a lot because I've panned them before. It's not difficult. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> now I know these do stop these once you get okay. to the end they stop so we can sit back and relax and we listen can. to the clicks we cool. can well based on my experience we should be able to do that watch it prove me wrong <laughs> yeah. there we go oh yeah thanks Mac <laughs> So you can see there, it's really not a lot of product at all. No. But look, they don't they don't claim that it is. And that's standard of a micro brow, brow pencil. <laughs> micro brow pretzel, no matter what brand you get from. <laughs> micro brow pretzel. <laughs> Love those pretzels. Micro brow style. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's let's cut this off and see what she weighs. By the way, I will say, if you wind these up just the tiniest bit too much when you are trying to use it on your actual brow, it will snap off. And, they they uh, are firm. Yeah, they're firm, they're a little bit dry, um, and they don't leave much room for error when you're winding them up because, yeah, they, it'll just break. But I have heard that the um, repackaged ones, which they're, are retractable, yes, they've, the formula, for, formula is slightly, slightly different. different. Yep. So, that's good. Yes. So you're super lucky with this one, guys. You do get your 0.1 gram instead of 0.09 grams. Yeah. So. Yeah. So you're, you're getting. Bargain. A tenth extra. Not. Yes. Correct. So this pretty much contains what it claims to contain. There's no low balling or getting extra product in there. It is what it is. Oh, at least it was in there. Yeah. Because you can't scrape these out and smear them on, on you your cannot, brows. You cannot. You cannot scrape these out and smear it on your brows. Doesn't happen. Ouchies. <laughs> <laughs> There's no scraping in there unless you get a pin. All right, guys. So there you have it. Three non-retractable makeup items. Their contents revealed. Um, I think, you know, I think if you're looking at a a non-retractable product and you're wondering how much is in there, 
The trick really is to look at how much it claims to contain. Obviously, um, in some situations, like with Marc Jacobs and by Terry, it's actually going to contain a lot more. And sometimes it's going to contain exactly what it's meant to. So I guess the way to sort of work it out is to look at what it claims to contain and assume that it safely contains that much. If you don't know what a gram of product looks like. Compare it to something that you can retract. Yeah, that's right. You know, like if you if you have a 0 0.09 gram eye pencil that is retractable, wind it up and have a look. And that gives you a bit of an idea of what's gonna be inside your non-retractable MAC eyebrows. Um, so that's, Probably the best way to go about it if you're curious, but whatever you do, don't wind it up. No. Don't wind up your non-retractables. You'll be in trouble. You will. You're going to have to put some faith in the brand. Yes, correct. This is makeup faith. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed this episode of The Makeup Breakup. If you did, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.